Well, I suppose, really, the, the biggest change is in the number of people. I can remember the, the nights, especially in the wintertime, from 9 o'clock on, there wouldn't be a soul around on Main Street. The Prince of Wales Hotel was the only sign of activity, and it would close up at 11 o'clock at night, and somebody might stagger out of there having partaken freely of beer, and that was it. The physical part of the town, I don't notice so much in, in the old town itself, as having changed. The character and the atmosphere are remarkably similar. You don't see Tommy May's livery stable anymore, but uh, the actual buildings seem relatively the same, but it's the number of people, the cars that you don't see. In the wintertime, uh, on occasion, I have skated to school on the street. We have a sweet storm, and you put your skates on and hang your shoes around your neck, tie your shoes around your neck, and literally skate up the main street of the town to the, to the school. And I've done that on a number of occasions. And I don't think you could do it anymore. You don't have the sleet storms anymore for one thing. The traffic's too great for another. But very rarely did we go to St. Catharines to do any shopping. The cars were not as reliable. The automobiles, they didn't travel as much. By automobile, it was some time before we had a car. And uh, you've got your shoes repaired here, you've got your haircuts here. You can't get a, you can't get shoes half sold in Niagara anymore. You can't get, it's hard to get a haircut in Niagara anymore. Uh, you went to, there were two or three, there was Bradley's grocery store, and there were uh, Doug Reed's grocery store, there was McCollum's, of course, and you did your shopping in town. There was a tailor here. And we really didn't have to go to St. Catharines. We went up there occasionally as a treat, uh, prepared an expedition when we finally got a car, and you'd go up and see a movie once in a while. Different movie than you saw in Niagara. But we were pretty self-contained in Niagara. Prim <coughs> primarily, the big homes were all occupied by residents in the summertime. Mississauga Beach was a summer colony with most of the people coming from Toronto, a few from Buffalo, and Niagara uh, Falls. You had outdoor plumbing. Very few of the houses had indoor bathrooms. When you uh, took a bath, you, went to, you took a power of soap and a towel and went down to the lake and uh, did your bathing in the lake every day. I don't think, I don't know of any of the, more than one or two of the homes that had bathrooms. Of course, that was out on the beach with the big homes along Queen Street were all closed in the wintertime. It was a sad day for most of us, or for those of us who looked on the summertime as, our, as when our friends came down from Buffalo and from Toronto because the last trip of the boat was just very sad when all the cottages would go back to Toronto. They'd close up and the boat would pull away from the dock and the rest of us who had friends going back resigned ourselves to another fall and winter of desolation almost. The town was, wasn't dead, but <laughs> it was an entirely different town in the wintertime than the summer. Well, it still is to considerable extent. In many respects, it's improved considerably. I'm sure that young people today find it uh, find a great deal more to do here. We didn't have tennis courts. Uh, the golf course was almost unavailable to us. Uh, I know I, I hear kids talking about there being nothing to do around here. I suppose it's because they're not used to doing things and making their own fun. You don't go on uh, bicycle rides. Kill them, you can kill an afternoon on a bicycle ride and take a picnic for lunch. But they wouldn't dream of doing that. Why take a bicycle ride when you can get the family car or you have your own car? This is ridiculous. So a place out by the four mile pond that would take you most of the afternoon to to ride out to and do a little fishing and come back again, you kill the afternoon, you're out there in 10 minutes in a car, and you're back in 10 minutes, you haven't killed the afternoon at all. <laughs> you really haven't had the same, put the same amount of effort into doing the same thing, and I suppose that's true all around. When you had a lawn to cut with an 18 inch reel mower, and it took you all afternoon to cut the lawn, and you could do the same thing with a power mower now in 45 minutes, 
that's another afternoon that you haven't passed away. You don't find people swimming in the lake the way they used to. We spent, as teenagers, we spent our afternoons when we, if we weren't picking fruit or caddy or trying to doing odd jobs, in spare time we would spend loafing around down on the beach and uh, I suppose just swimming and loafing then the evening entertainment if anybody was lucky enough at least when this was later on when we were 16, 17 and so on we'd go to Port Dalhousie in the evening and they had the Dine Dance Hall it's the Nicola Dance and then the Dine Dance and you could take a date up there and, and uh, have a few dances and a couple of hot dogs and uh, the evening seemed to pass very pleasantly 